Over the course of 20 years making expeditions around the globe, I've observed that teams fall into one of four cultures when it comes to the way they make decisions together in highly VUCA environments. The first culture is one I call haphazard. Now a haphazard culture has no formal decision-making process in place. Decisions in these team decision-making cultures are very unstructured and messy. And it's almost impossible to tell in a haphazard team decision-making culture who has responsibility for making what decisions. So the second culture I see is one I call committee. A committee-driven team decision-making culture means you appoint groups of people operating in committee-style teams to make decisions. Now in these cultures, decisions are only ever made during these meetings. And it can take weeks or months to even call the decision-making meeting, let alone get the decisions made. So the third team decision-making culture I see is one I call highly structured. This means you have a centralized decision-making process based on a hierarchical structure. Decisions are made at the top and forced down. Now in complicated environments, these highly structured team decision-making cultures can run very efficiently. But in complex environments, where the environment is changing rapidly and uncertainly, communications break down, highly structured teams very quickly become fragile. So the fourth team decision-making culture that I see is one I call highly aligned and empowered. In highly aligned and empowered team decision-making cultures, decision-making is decentralized and empowered to our people in the field as the situations arise. Yet we have 100% confidence these decisions are aligned to our team's purpose, its values, and our strategy. Highly aligned and empowered teams lead their fields. Other teams will try and copy what they do. They may even try and steal their star performers. But just by stealing their top talent, they can't recreate what they do. And they don't know why. So what team decision-making culture is your team in? And is it the right one to thrive in a VUCA environment?